Good morning on this uh, wonderful day, a Tuesday. Wonderful morning the Lord has made. Thank you for tuning in to this devotion. Um, it's a privilege to have you. I'm glad to have you. Um, and I believe God will bless us as we continue with the conversation we began yesterday. For those of us who are joining us for the first time, yesterday we began talking about uh, this flag and about, you know, Kenya and just developing a burden for Kenya. Now, if you're watching us and you're not a Kenyan, please stay tuned because you could pick one or two things that could be a blessing to you and the place where you come from. But also, we want you to pray for us because we will also pray for your country when you need our prayer. So just tune in, just hang in on there and I believe God will bless you as we learn. Uh, those of us who are in the country, those out of the country, I hope you're going to be blessed. Let's pray as we pick up from where we left yesterday. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity to converse around your word and around um, symbolism that represents this country of Kenya. We invite your Holy Spirit to take over this conversation and to help us. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. We began, you know, talking about the one thing that unifies us. Uh, for those of you who are aware, we're about to get into an election in a few days' time. And, you know, the country is divided along party lines, along, in some places along tribal lines. And we are looking for what can unify us. And so we felt the flag unifies us. Uh, and so let's pray around the flag. Uh, that, you know, even past the elections, past what will happen next week and the results that will come, that we will still believe in this. We will still uphold this. And that, you know, God will bless us in line uh, with, with the symbolism of this flag. And so yesterday we talked about the, the one thing that stands out in the flag, the shield and the spears. We said, and we prayed and asked that God will be our defense. God will be our security as a nation. We also pray that God will be the security of you and you as, as, a, as a viewer, you that is watching us. And so I want to invite us to consider the next, you know, thing, the next, uh, uh, you know, symbol that is on the flag. Uh, and the next four symbols we are going to talk about are the four colors that you find on that flag. There are four colors on the flag. And so we'll pick the first color that is on top of the flag. And that is the color black. Color black is very interesting because it identifies us as a people, because you are predominantly, uh, you know, dark-skinned. Uh, there are few uh, 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 light-skinned individuals in the country, and we love you. Uh, you are still Kenyan. And there are those who, are, you know, probably are not of the, uh, you know, uh, uh, they are not dark-skinned, and, um, and, and they are part of this country. Uh, and, and we thank God a couple of, uh, some, some time ago, not too long ago, even the, the Indians and the Asians that are part of our country were co-opted as another tribe of Kenya. And so we generally, you know, represent, we are represented generally by this black color, uh, you know, as a people of Kenya. But, you know, you can already see there's a lot of diversity that even the black color, you know, begins to be challenged as a representative of the people of Kenya. But, you know, uh, the thing about a people of Kenya and the representation we have is that even within that dark, that, that black uh, symbolism um, and, and the dark skin that represents most of us, uh, there are many tribes, there are many political affiliations, there are many ideologies, there are many, we are so segmented and even within that uh, we identify ourselves with so many other things. Um, and so my, my prayer today, and I want to invite you to pray, is that we will find uh, you know, pride uh, in our country and we will find something to gravitate around, something that can identify us that is better than just the color black. And I want to suggest and pray that it's not just the color black that will identify us, but something else that will identify us. Not even our tribe, not even some characteristics we have as Kenyans. Some people think we are, we are too ambitious. Some people think we are too, you know, brash uh, and too, you know, entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial. But then there's something else that can identify us. And I want to suggest that we pick from Proverbs chapter 14, verse 34. It says, righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. I would pray that apart from being identified and as a people by the color of black, that we shall be identified as a people by the value 
of righteousness. It says, once that identifies a nation, that nation is exalted. And so, we have dynamics about the color black, but my prayer, and I want you to help me pray, is that it will not just be black that will represent us, identify us as a people of Kenya, but righteousness. And that that will exalt us as a nation. You see, the Bible tells us this, that blessed is a nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen as his own inheritance. Another thing, you know, once righteousness, uh, and for righteousness to be our identity, then God has to be the God of this country. And I want us to pray that Kenya shall subscribe to the true God and that he will be able to say that he is our God and that we will be able to be identified by Psalms 33, Blessed, verse 12, blessed is a nation whose God is the Lord. And so I want to invite you to pray together with me. But I also want to suggest to us that as an individual that is watching, I, I hope that you're not just, it's not external things that identify you, that determine your identity. It's not the car you drive, it's not the house you live in, it's not the neighborhood you live in. It's not even your skin color because right now there's a lot of conversation about racism and, 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 and there's the whole conversation about, you know, blacks and whites. But my prayer is that we will not be identified by those things, but we will raise, rise a little higher and be identified by righteousness. That's why I want to challenge you. According to Matthew 6.33, it says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added to you. You become privileged when you are identified by righteousness and by the kingdom of God. And I pray that as a country we'll be identified by righteousness. May righteousness prevail over Kenya. May God give us righteous leaders. Uh, may we rise up as righteousness. But then oh, may God help us as individuals to rise up and seek righteousness so that we can we can be able to influence the country and righteousness can prevail. Let's pray. Lord, may your righteousness prevail over this country. May your righteousness become our identity. Lord, in many times uh, we have used and we have, uh, you know, even as your people, we have gone back to our tribal enclaves and we have sought to be identified by other things. God, forgive us where we have sought to be identified by things that don't glorify you. And many times we have been identified by corruption. God forgive us where we have been identified by corruption. But I pray, oh God, that Kenya will not just be identified by the color black as our skin color for majority of Kenyans, but that Kenyans shall be identified by righteousness, by good values, by godly values. And people shall say of Kenyans, those are good people, those are righteous people. And so I pray for a revival, oh God, and we pray together with my viewers for revival to take place in Kenya, that righteousness shall rise up again in our schools, in our colleges, in our places of work, in our institutions. Righteousness shall begin to rise up. You will raise righteous people that shall begin to be the ones uh, that will, will, will represent Kenya. Lord, I pray for those, that person that is watching me, that you will quicken them to begin to seek righteousness and to seek your kingdom and that that will define them and not what they have or where they live or what they dress but that your righteousness shall be our identity help us oh god in jesus name probably you're watching and the only way for righteousness the first step in allowing righteousness to be your identity so that you can be blessed by god it says if you are identified by righteousness then it says, all the things you need shall be added to you. And it says, if a country is identified by righteousness, it shall be exalted. If a people are identified by righteousness, it shall be exalted. For you to be identified by righteousness, you must receive the Lord Jesus Christ. And so if you have not received the Lord Jesus Christ, allow me to pray for you. Say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Wash away my sins. And write my name in the book of life. Make me righteous from this day. In your holy name I pray. 
Amen. I pray that the Holy Spirit will confirm salvation in your heart if you have said that prayer. That's my prayer for you. But get in touch with us. Use the numbers on the screen. Text us, WhatsApp us, or call us, and somebody will give you further instructions. If you want to bless this ministry, remember you can do so. If you're in Kenya, you can use M-Pesa. Field number 59335. Bless this ministry, and God will bless you. Amen. Amen.